Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. And before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces here. I'll play the Karukan defense. Starts with c6, d5. Open can take or advance. Or let that be, which can become the main line. I can push the pawn or I can take. Um, taking is one way, but these days I prefer placing my pawn forward. Open goes back, which is never a good choice because you are just making sure that you have a bad development already. Now I can probably take on the knight and have a big center as well. Or um, I think that makes more sense. Let's let's take on the knight. I'll get a big center. Open can try and break it, of course. But meanwhile, we'll press for some advantages. Can go with the knight, uh, can go with the bishop, or I can start with the knight as well, defending my base of the pawn chain. Can um, develop my bishop here, and then go on with the knight. Bishop goes back. And I can start proceeding with the pawns here and attack because I can castle on the queen side as well if required. Uh, I don't want to take, of course. Um, I would like him to take. And I'll proceed with the pawn for now. Asking him to take. And I'll take this one. I'll take with the knight. Um, can defend with the bishop. And makes more sense as well. I get my bishop active. Then queen over here. Or 2d6 as well. Dependent on what and how I want to play this further. I'll take on the pawn first. If he takes with the pawn, that weakens up further. But this is also okay for me to continue attacking. Can, if I go with the knight and he takes the knight first, then I can be in some trouble. So I should go with my queen here. The idea is to then go with the knight over here. Uh, now a couple of attacking options here. So I should go with, with this knight itself. But then he takes on the pawn, but he can't because if he tries to, I'll have a fork, which would be nice. Also, I'm pressurizing the bishop now. So lots of attacks from this one move here. And what my opponent chooses is to give away the bishop and take back. And now I can plant my knight here, which can attack the bishop as well and the rook so if i get to take the bishop then i'm coming in with the queen as well is one way i don't need to change anything right now uh instead um i can simply go ahead with queen or maybe connect both my knights but that's not a very good option rather we go here connecting both of them this controls a lot of squares as well yes my opponent can take uh but that's it i can defend as well i'll take with this pawn and I don't need to castle right now. I, I feel confident in this situation. Can get my rook active as well. Asking to exchange if he really wants to. If he doesn't, then I can even plan something else, but not required now. So opponent takes a pawn, but still both my knights are connected and solid. So I don't think I should be bothered about it. Now, I think this gives me a good opportunity to go here. The idea is to just move away the knight eventually after he moves the knight now. He'll have to because it's undefended. And once he moves the knight, I can take anything and give a check or I can just trap his queen too. But that's a nice square to be kept. Uh, but that allows me to go here as well. Just defending everything. Okay, so he gets rid of the uh, diagonal. Uh, what can we do here? I think I can reroute my queen here as well. That's a very nice aggressive option too. I'm threatening check and that would be made actually. 
because queen can't go here, queen can't go here because placement of my both the knights. So my opponent has to move the bishop here. That's the only move, which sort of helps him or doesn't, I'm not sure. Because if I go with the queen check right now, he takes back with the queen, I take with the rook. He takes, I take, that should be okay. But I'm in more pressing situation here. I don't want to lose like that. Um, okay, for the time being, I'll just make sure that his knight is not going anywhere. He can take with a knight if he does take my knight, which is unlikely to happen. I can go here as well, checking the take on the pawn. That would be one interesting option. Oh, actually, if he takes and I take, he takes back. I lose a piece. I miscalculated. I hope he doesn't see that. Oh, he does. Oh, uh, but isn't that checkmate? That's not checkmate because he can run here. Okay. Um, then I take and give a check. He takes back. Or I can go with the rook, take his queen, and I should be fine as well. But if I take, let's do this. I give a check by taking the bishop first. He takes back with the queen mostly. And now give, I, I give a check and he has to move up and he loses the rook. He loses the rook. This is fine. Check. And where does he go now? If he goes here, oh, he designs. So we don't have to be bothered about that. So I thought for a second I miscalculated there, but actually it was nice because I could land in at the bottom on the H1. And let's analyze the game come from computer perspective once quickly. Side of a D4, C6 by me, Knight F3, I went with D5. And yeah, this was bad. Uh, when I pushed my pawn forward, he goes backwards, which is not the right choice here. Um, and then I just try to pin the knight. He removes the pin. I take on the knight, but best move there. Went for the big center, open castles. I developed the knight to d7, uh, d3 by opponent, then bishop e7, open plays pawn forward, trying to get his bishop backwards so that he can play pawns forward and expand. But I went with knight to uh, f6, here my opponent goes back, and then I started pushing my pawns forward, h5, and he does push the pawn forward. Instead, he should have gone with h6, h4, uh, so that uh, he doesn't let my pawns advance further. But since he moved uh, the other pawn, I had the opportunity to play my pawn forward on h4, and then he decides to take on a pawn, which is bad because my knight gets developed with tempo. And then he attacks my knight, but that doesn't uh, trouble me much. I develop my bishop on d6. And then I took on the pawn, which he takes back with the bishop. Yes, his file is opened up, but my attack is stronger. Uh, I can go on c7 as per what computer is suggesting, but I preferred going to d7 with the ideas of just going in with my knight so that I can go for a fork eventually. So that was my approach in the game, but yes, of course, Queen to c7 is also a strong move because if, say, knight comes here, uh, some point of time you can actually capture as well after castling. Uh, because once you castle, you have an opportunity to develop your rooks as well and then attack, attack on h2 further. But instead, uh, in the game, when I proceeded with queen to d7, my opponent responded with knight to uh, f3 there, as you see. And then I went with knight on uh g4 and that is a bad move and why right. so because my opponent can play pawn forward i was actually planning to go with this knight first but then i don't know why i tried to go with the other one maybe trying to exchange bishops was the only plan uh but yeah i missed that for a moment and yes but my opponent doesn't take advantage of it thankfully and lose the bishop and after he does take i go on with Knight to e3, a very good square for the knight, uh, attacking a couple of pieces, attacking pawn as well. Here my opponent saves the rook, of course. And I can castle here, uh, but I went for knight first, connecting both of them. My opponent tries to break my pawn structure and I played c5 here, the right move. He does take, I take back and my opponent gets rook on the empty file. I tried to exchange the rooks, we did. 
And here also, I'm pretty much ahead in the game by 1.7 odd, which is a decent advantage here. And yes, this was a bad move when he took on the knight, and they took on the pawn with the knight, and I punished him rightly by going there on c5. But once he defended, what was the best move? Oh, queen to h5. But I didn't go there directly, but tried to maintain the spin. Then he plays pawn forward, and then I went to the other side of the board, rightly so, in order to attack and take advantage of a quick checkmate if my opponent misses. And my opponent plays bishop over there. Yes, after placing my next move, I, which was pawn forward, I realized that I could have actually gone here, uh, forcing him to take. And so if I go here and my opponent does decide to take, that would be bad, of course, uh, because after he does take, I can take. And now either my opponent gets queen in between and loses the queen, or there's no option. <laughs> so he goes back and that's checkmate. So that could have been over th that easy, but instead, uh, I didn't see that on the first place and played a passive move. Uh, but that move made sense to me at that point of time because I didn't want his knight to come around my king anyhow. So this pawn move prevents him from coming to the couple of active squares for the knight. So him opponent takes on finally, which was a bad move. He could have actually got his rook active. Uh, and then also I would have gone with this, but then problem was he can come down and I go up and he can take on the rook and we exchange stuff. But here, as you see, he takes on and that was a bad move eventually because I can give a check, he goes up. I again was thinking here, can I just go on with the rook first? But then my opponent escapes and yes, I can take on the queen and he takes back. And now I have queen alone against three pieces, uh, which can be challenging for the queen as well, no matter how much uh, stronger the queen is. So uh, I didn't have to go there. So I just take on the bishop first. He takes back and then I get the rook. Best moves there, goes up and I take on the rook as well. Now I'm 4.5, actually five ahead approx and my opponent designs. Uh, that had to come because, yeah, that's a matter of time. I, I find a good checkmate here uh, because I have a few moves. Uh, can even give a check from here first because, of course, this doesn't work. My opponent is like this. I cannot give a check from here because knight defends. Uh, cannot exchange, of course. So I could have given a check first, trying to push him, maybe save my pawn first. Queen is coming here, but nothing bothers much because I have escape uh, always possible. So that's a decent advantage of 5.3 and you will definitely win this um, 10 out of 10 times. So I hope you like the video. Do let me know feedback. Keep watching and sharing. See you tomorrow and thanks for watching this interesting video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.